Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to the game I promised you yesterday because yesterday uh, we've seen a very beautiful checkmate by Alexander Aliehin. Uh, he sacrificed his queen in move number 10 and then follow with the with the checkmate uh, with the pattern of Boden's mate. So definitely Aliehin knew what he was doing. So today I would like to show you the original Boden's mate, how Aliehin could know uh, what to play. Then if you haven't seen that game, where Aliehin in the French defense won in just 11 moves. Check the link over there and watch after this video. Uh, okay, so uh, what happened here? We have London 1853 and Samuel Boden, who was English master, his ranking according to the historical ratings at 2463. He was 27 years old and he's gonna play as black. And what do we know about Samuel Boden? Uh, just one recommendation. Paul Morphy said that it was the strongest English chess master and he played a couple of masters so he definitely knew what he was saying. Uh, and his opponent, Herr Schulder, and we don't know his name, we don't know his age, uh, we know his initial uh, letter R, so maybe he was Rudolf, maybe Reinhold, the popular German names, we have no idea, but he was a very strong uh, amateur player. How strong? Uh, he won against Samuel Boden some games, uh, he also won against Daniel Harvitz one of the strongest uh, players uh, of that era, uh, which historical ranking was over 2600. So pretty impressive stuff. And I was a little bit confused and didn't know, you know, what ranking I should estimate. But as he was the amateur player, let's say uh, I estimate his ranking to 2300 uh, and he's gonna play as white. So without further ado, let's learn Boden's main pattern as it can happen uh, in every game so everybody should just be aware uh, you know how it looks like uh, shoulder open with e4 we have e5 by Boden knight on f3 d6 so uh, this is Philidor's defense um, and the most popular line here very harmonic line is d4 d4 e takes on d4 knight takes on d4 and then knight f6 uh, knight c3 bishop e7 and the game can continue however here uh, shoulder play c3 preparing d4 uh, but it's very very slow move uh, it's not even in the database nowadays so uh, not really precise move uh, Boden strikes right away and he play f5 and now the pawn on e4 is hanging what to do you cannot defend it you could defend with d3 or uh, other option you can take on f5. Both of the moves are possible, of course. However, uh, keep in mind that this is 19th century. Nobody cares about the pawns. Now we gonna play to checkmate the opponent. So we have bishop on c4 by shoulder. Uh, and here black could play f takes on e4. This is uh, the move actually recommended by the engine. But Samuel Boden probably didn't want to fall into continuation like knight on e5. Sacrifice the, the knight. D takes on e5 and queen on e5. It could be very uncomfortable but actually uh, it's pretty okay for black. King on d7 and now uh, how to continue. Uh, Queen on f5, king d6, uh, queen e4, knight f6, now developing with tempo and uh, queen d3, king e7. And white doesn't have uh, really compensation for sacrifice piece uh, and black can develop these pieces pretty easily. Uh, okay, and uh, white, how to develop these pieces? So if white want to attack, they have to develop, you know, uh, immediately the pieces, but it's impossible. So black definitely stands better here. So f takes on e4 was not played. Samuel Boden goes for a knight on f6, controlling h5. So now the queen can't jump over there. Uh, and here white could try something like knight on g5. Very, very standard move, you know, with the attack focusing on f7. So a uh, very, very unpleasant uh, attack. And black would probably have to go for d5. E takes on d5, h6, you know, kicking the knight, but knight can jump on e6. And after exchanging 
the knights uh, white have very nice pass pawn and it's very very unpleasant it's not so easy to capture that moreover white can play moves like queen on b3 with attack on b7 with support on e6 and black don't have already a uh, light square bishop to attack this pawn so a lot of troubles for black definitely so this could be played however uh white thinks okay i don't want to play any tricks let's fight for the center and he play d4 and that's what we have real bloody fight for the center so uh, we have f takes on e4 d takes on e5 e takes on f3 e takes on f6 now queen f6 and now g takes on f3 so uh shoulder don't want to exchange the queen so he take with the pawn he semi opened the, the g file so definitely he will try to castle on the queen side but uh, his pawn structure with three pawn islands uh, are, is really really bad and also if he uh, castle on the queen side this pawn structure is not really great not really cover the king uh, here we have knight on c6 developing move f4 now making some space for the queen but at the same time blocking development of the bishop but uh, shoulder wants to put the bishop on e3 so that's his plan here we have bishop on d7 preparing to castle bishop on e3 uh, and now castle by boden uh, knight on d2 rook on e8 and now the pawn is under attack as the bishop is pinned so a queen on f3 bringing extra protection to to the pawn on f4 and now bishop on f5 and this is very very important move and lesson for you this bishop actually slicing this diagonal so what will happen if white actually castle uh, in this move uh, what white should play uh, here is something like maybe bishop on d5 or maybe bishop on b5 okay uh, focusing on this knight and white would have to go back and then castle would be pretty okay for white however white castle right now and here all the magic uh, happens now so feel free to pause the video and win in the spectacular uh, style uh, while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so if you didn't know the Bodens mate pattern or you didn't focus on the thumbnail, uh, then definitely it's uh, some challenge and it's fun. And if you knew that already, uh, then at least you can, you know, uh, remember that better and maybe be aware uh, in your games. So uh, here is the idea d5 attacking the bishop and now what white have to play to save from the being checkmated is something like uh, for example, rook on e1 and losing the, the bishop and losing the game. Uh, and if white takes, what happened in the game is it was bishop on d5. Then look at this beautiful pattern. Queen c3, bang, check. And, uh, and yeah, the idea is exactly the same uh, how uh, Alexander Aliehin played 75 years later uh, in his game, which I covered yesterday. Uh, of course, there is no choice here. Uh, the pawn has to take on c3. And now we have bishop on a3. And this is beautiful Boden's checkmate, okay? Uh, these pieces you know just block the way of the king and yeah that's the win so if you learn something uh, from this game uh, or if you enjoyed the video press like if for some reason you didn't press unlike and if you don't want to miss other quality material on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one